Okay, that's the Johnny Be Good intro solo, which is what this lesson's all about. I'm Justin, and uh, if you want to get the tab for this, it's probably a good idea. And you'll get the tab PDF file from www.justinguitar.com. So, let me take you through what's going on here. I'll just get uh, my cameraman Jedi to do a close-up of my left hand, and then you'll probably spend most of the rest of the lesson looking at that. See you in a sec. Okay, so we're starting here with a, we're in the key of B flat, so it's kind of loosely based around the pentatonic scale. It's really using the Mixolydian mode notes as well. We're starting here with a second finger that's got to finish up on the seventh fret. So we're just going to slide from like one or two frets behind. It doesn't really have to be, it's not like, it doesn't have to be right up, just is enough, even one fret. Then first finger, third finger. Now again, we've got this little one fret slide. The last one of that group of three is the first beat of the new bar. So you've got this, if you're going to count it, we've got one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Now that second bar there, here's a roll. Just roll over with your foot first finger there. Now we've got this little dyad thing, this is the third bar. There's eight picks on that, just use those two separate fingers, don't try and bar it because it doesn't really work as a bar. So that so far. tab page, which is going to be slide up to the seventh again. So second finger, first, third. Now here we slide back to the fifth fret with our third finger. Now it's not like a direct slide, it's not going... It's just a kind of an unspecified slide. I'm not really... it can go from one fret above, or three frets from above. Doesn't matter, really, it's just a quick unspecified slide. And then we're straight into the classic uh, Chuck Berry, really it's a T-bone walker lick, but I'll talk about that in a sec. This lick here where we're doing a really quick bend, followed by these two notes here up on the sixth fret. You just use your first finger bar, use the two fingers for the bend, don't try and bend it with one fingers, and make sure you remember that you're using your hand not your fingers, don't try and push with your fingers like that, it's too difficult. So. It's a very specific rhythmic pattern, definitely worth checking out. Um, the easiest, I can explain to you the count, but it's quite complicated and you're much better off just listening to it um, to figure that out, because you should be listening to the original track of this a lot anyway to learn how to do it properly. So that, that takes up the next four bars. Now we're at the, the last kind of uh, three bars of the progression. We've got this F chord, where, well, where the F chord is. We do a quick bend. Then we've got a little scale part. Finishing on a little dyad there with our first and second fingers. Sometimes I play it um, with a little hammer onto the seven. I can't remember if it's on the record or not, to tell the truth. Um, then we've got the very last part. This is the two eights there with the third finger. Okay, now I'll play it all of the way through from the top, just at a kind of a medium speed.
Okay, I hope you've got that solo nice and sorted out. Uh, just to remind you, make sure that when you're learning stuff like that, you learn it really, really slowly and then gradually speed it up till you can play it along. Uh, there's a great program that you can use for uh, uh, playing along with stuff and also for transcribing. The program's actually called Transcribe um, and you get it from www.7thstring.com. Um, I'm not an endorser or anything, but it's just a really, really good program. Um, and it enables you to, to slow down any solo to any speed while staying at the same pitch, which is mainly used for transcribing, but you can use it for learning solos like this by just slowing the recording down and playing along with it. So you might move it to half speed and then practice along with it for a little bit, um, and then gradually move it up to 75% or 80%, 90% until you're at full speed and play along with the record. It also means that you can hear all the little subtle inflections in the solos. It's generally a great idea. Um, the rhythm guitar part for Johnny Be Good is a 12 bar blues in the key of B flat. Um, I'd recommend that you check out my lesson called 12 bar in 12 keys, which will explain to you how to play a 12 bar blues in the key of B flat if you don't know. Uh, I'm not going to repeat that again here. Uh, so maybe go and have it check that out. It's definitely worth, if you've got a bit of time on your hands, trying to work out the rest of the solos in that. Um, they're really good. They're all kind of based on the, the, the intro lick, so they're not too hard to figure out especially if you've got the intro lick already kind of sussed out. Um, and the last thing I want to mention is uh, a guy, a guitar player called T-Bone Walker. Um, hopefully some of you have heard of him. Um, he's kind of the guy that Chuck Berry nicked almost everything off. Um, he did the funny moves, playing guitar behind his head, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, he was one of the first electric guitar players. He was a flatmate of Charlie Christian, if you've heard of Charlie Christian. Um, really amazing guitar player. Um, and all of those, even that little bending lick, the dwet, 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 dwet lick from the, the intro to Chuck Berry, that's a T-Bone Walker lick. Um, so definitely go and check out a bit of T-Bone Walker. I actually made a website for him because I felt sorry for him. He didn't seem to have a website. Yeah, and the site I made for him is at www.t-bonewalker.co.uk. It might be .com, but I think it's .co.uk. I'll check. Um, sorry, T-Bone. Uh, and it's got a solo in there and bio and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so go and check out T-Bone, he's really great. Remember, all of the files come from my website, www.justinguitar.com. Um, I'll try and bring you some more classic guitar solos real soon. Take care, have a nice life, see ya.